So the ACT series on Hulu just finished, and I actually had an idea for a different Gypsy Rose Blanchard video, and as I started to do some research, I started seeing some articles pop up about what the act on Hulu actually got wrong about the Gypsy Rose Blanchard story, and it makes me a little bit curious. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, I talk about a wide range of subjects and try to pull different topics from the YouTube community or movie and TV shows and try to see what we can learn from them. And I've done quite a few Gypsy Rose Blanchard videos, so if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So yeah, the act series finale just happened. Um, uh, I believe it was eight episodes. And by the way, if you have not watched the act on Hulu, there will be some spoilers. I'm going to be talking about the season finale. So if you haven't watched it, go ahead and watch it, come back. If you don't really care, stick around. We're gonna be talking about some interesting stuff. So in the, the, the finale, Gypsy Rose Blanchard is in prison. And yeah, we see a little bit more of her neighbors Mel and Lacey and how they're coping with finding out that Gypsy can walk, Gypsy killed her mother with Nick Godijohn, and yeah, they're, they're caught off guard because they knew Dee Dee and Gypsy very, very well. And Gypsy, throughout the entire time she's been in jail, is she's calling Lacey. And in an interview with Gypsy Rose Blanchard about how she liked the act, um, she thought they did very well, but she did say that they did not depict her relationship with Lacey as well as they could have because she sees Lacey as like this sister figure and they had a way closer relationship than what was shown in the act, right? But in the series, in this finale, Gypsy is calling Lacey and Lacey doesn't want to pick up the phone. Obviously, Lacey's going through a lot because she doesn't know what's going on with Gypsy. Even her mother, Mel, is like, yo, why don't you talk to her? Why don't you go visit her? And Mel believes that Lacey can get some kind of closure from this, but what ends up happening is Lacey does not go and Mel ends up going and she has a conversation with Gypsy Rose Blanchard. And basically they have this like kind of dramatic conversation. Gypsy asks Mel if Mel will be her new mom and Mel's like, nah girl, like you're on your own now. You lost your mother or whatever. And then, you know, the, the episode ends where Gypsy goes back to her prison cell and she kind of imagines her mother there and she leans her head on her shoulder. And that's that, right? So when we first got into the act, this is a story that I had never heard about, right? And my beautiful girlfriend, Tristan, she told me about this story um, because she's, you know, been following it and everything like that. And when the series started and when they moved and they met uh, Lacey and Mel, one of the first things that Tristan brought up was like, where have these neighbors been? Like, where have they been? Like, cause in the real story, there's not much about these neighbors and they were some of the people closest to Gypsy Rose Blanchard and Dee Dee. So like, Tristan was kind of wondering that and then I'm kind of wondering that. I'm like, oh, okay, that's weird. And it's because the act left some things out and they did fictionalize some things in this series. Well, through some new interviews and things like that, it turns out that Mel, Lacey's mother, didn't actually exist. And that's really fascinating to me. And throughout this, this video, I'm kind of just asking why, and I would love to hear your thoughts. Like, why do you think the writers and producers of the act decided to include Mel in this series? Like, I'm wondering how that helped the story. Why, why make that change? Why make that different? Because Mel is a completely fictional character. But the other interesting thing is, Lacey isn't really Lacey, all right? So Lacey is actually a woman by the name Aaliyah, who was Gypsy's neighbor and did, you know, become friends with her and was like a sister figure to Gypsy. But in this finale, obviously Lacey, who's really Aaliyah, didn't want to talk to Gypsy, didn't want to go visit her in prison, didn't want to talk to, none of that stuff, right? But in real life, they interviewed Aaliyah and Aaliyah talks about how she has pretty much just stayed out of it, stayed away from the news, stayed away from the, you know, the interviews and everything. Like she says how she looks back at in like even old interviews that she did when this first uh, came out, it makes her very uncomfortable to see. So like she has kind of stayed 
out of the picture for this, right? And I'm wondering if they did that kind of out of respect to Aaliyah, I'm not really sure. But the other interesting thing is, Aaliyah is still very much friends with Gypsy Rose Blanchard. Like they are tight, right? And Aaliyah, not only does she still talk to Gypsy on a regular basis, but apparently she has gone to every single court hearing that Gypsy Rose Blanchard has gone through. Like she goes out there and she visits and everything like that. So that's the other question I have is, why, why did they leave that information out? Why did they kind of change that part of the story? So obviously like I've made videos about Gypsy Rose Blanchard um, and I just kind of try to look at different situations from all different angles. Like I do empathize with Gypsy and what she's been through and everything like that. But if you've watched my other videos, it does make me a little bit curious as to like the overwhelming, like the overwhelming amount of sympathy. And I'm just like, okay, well let's dial it back just a little bit, right? But here's my take on it, in my opinion, I would love to hear yours as well. It makes me wonder if some of these changes made in the act on Hulu, if they were made to kind of, I don't know, make Gypsy Rose Blanchard look worse, all right? By showing how Mel was affected, by showing how Lacey was affected, and showing Lacey as a character who didn't want to talk to Gypsy anymore and wanted to move on with her life. I'm wondering if they, you know, if there was some kind of bias in that. Like, this is something that I'm just always thinking about whenever I'm watching like YouTube creators, whenever I'm watching just any kind of commentary, whether it's, you know, um, YouTube commentary, social commentary, political commentary, I'm always sitting there wondering, I'm just like, okay, the person discussing this or the person making this, or even when I'm reading articles, I'm like, okay, what kind of bias might this person have and how did it affect what they're saying or what they're creating, right? So it makes me curious just about how they wrote this show, how they directed this show, you know, how they produced the show, what they kept in, what they left out and everything like that. Were they trying to paint Gypsy Rose Blanchard in a certain way? Now, that is to say like me personally, I don't necessarily disagree with it, right? I don't, like I just made a video like, on like what Gypsy Rose Blanchard could have done differently. And in that video, I discussed like, Gypsy could walk. Like this girl could walk. And this, this murder was something that was planned over a long period of time. And then hearing about how her relationship with Aaliyah in real life was much closer, it just makes me wonder even more. And then I, I, I sit here and I put myself in like Aaliyah's shoes and how Aaliyah is still like, you know, really close friends with Gypsy and I'm like, would I, how would I feel if that was one of my friends, right? Because in the show, like, there's like this betrayal, right? There's this betrayal being lied to and everything like that. And that's like, that's just something that can happen to us. But the fact that that resulted in like a murder, you know what I mean? I'm trying to think of, if I found out one of my, one of my best friends, someone I've been close to for years, was not only lying to me, like a major lie for years, but then they became a murderer, I just kind of, I question that. I wonder what I would do in that in that situation. Would I distance myself? Would I be empathetic? I I just, I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, I do have um, at least one more video planned um, about uh, the Gypsy Rose Blanchard case. Um, maybe some more in the future if you guys keep tossing around some ideas. But anyways, let me know your thoughts on this topic down in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to get your name right here in the credits, support what I'm doing here, get involved in the monthly Q&A, click or tap on that Patreon icon right there, all right? Thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.